everybody, Greg McCoy here with Muscle Nutrition. Um, I'm on the Muscle Nutrition Facebook page where you guys write in questions um, and I'd like to take a second to answer a few of those questions so that uh, everybody can benefit from it. Um, this is this week's question and answer video um, and let's get started. Um, the first question uh, is written in from Juan Aid. Juan Aid says, um, I'm very weak and want to gain weight. What do I have to do? Um, well, first off, it, it starts in the gym. So you, you want to make sure that when you train, you, you train hard and heavy. Keep your reps low, between five and eight reps uh, per exercise. And choose exercises that are going to lift the most amount of weight and use the most amount of muscles. So, you know, one age, you want to make sure that you're doing squats. You want to make sure that you're doing deadlifts. You want to make sure that you're doing bench press, uh, shoulder press, uh, close grip bench press, and uh, straight bar curls. That just about covers every body part. Um, you want to do those compound movements specifically and lift a lot of heavy weight and that'll help set your body up to grow. Um, as far as food goes, you're going to need to eat a lot of clean calories. So eat uh, protein, complex carbs, and uh, some healthy fats with every meal. And as far as supplements goes, uh, we'd start you off with uh, our, our product Muscle Gain which is specifically engineered for uh, people like you that have trouble putting on weight. So, you know, when you start training, uh, your body's going to require calories to grow the new muscle. So, um, one to two shakes of these, two of these a day will help you put the pounds on that you need. Uh, the next question comes from Cigar. Cigar is 19 years old and asks, um, I want to do a competition. Give me a course of what I need to do. Um, Cigar, 19 years old is, is when I actually started bodybuilding as well. Um, I was only 155 pounds, which is about uh, 70 kilos. So, you know, it's never too early to start. Um, I recommend people to start competing. You know, if you've got the passion and the drive for it, don't be scared. Um, you know, you got to stick to your diet and uh, train hard, and, and it'll, it'll change your body for the better. And you, you should love the sport of competing. Um, as far as nuts and bolts, how to do it, you know, you need to be training hard in the gym at least five days a week. Um, split your body part up. Uh, to where you're, you're hitting heavy body parts at the start of the week, smaller ones at the end. Um, I'd recommend doing your cardio on an empty stomach right when you wake up. Uh, I don't know what you look like, but uh, most people start with about 30 minutes um, of morning cardio. Uh, I'd like to recommend a product, amino syrup. Um, take uh, two servings of this before you do your cardio, which will help you from breaking down uh, muscle while you're dieting. You don't have enough calories to sustain your weight, so you need to use aminos to help you maintain that muscle mass. Um, I'd also like to recommend um, ISO muscle. Um, as a competitor, you want to make sure that your protein sources are super clean. Uh, this product has no carbs, no sugar, and no fat. It's only protein. Um, you could take this for even two up to three of your meals, um, assuming you're getting in six meals a day. So go for it. Uh, cigar, you should compete. Um, you know, stick to your diet and train hard, and take some good supplements. The next question comes from Sandeep. Sandeep says, "I have very little time and need to work out in my home gym. How can I lose fat and gain muscle with a tight schedule?" Sandeep, this is a problem that many people face. You know, with a busy work schedule, a busy family schedule, um, it's hard to make improvements to your physique. Um, if you've got a gym in your house, that's great and will save you some time there. Um, if you can train with weights as little as three days a week, um, you, you'll be able to make improvements to your physique. I'd recommend doing uh, an upper body workout followed by a lower body workout and just rotate them one on, one off. So you would go Monday upper body, Wednesday lower body, uh, Friday upper body again, and then when you go to the next week, start with lower body. So you'll be flip-flopping which, which week gets uh, two workouts in. Um, uh, another thing that's, uh, that you can do that save yourself a little time is um, find little spurts of time to exercise outside. Um, if, if, uh, if you're working downtown or, or have a, anything that you need to travel, you can you know, take some running shoes with you and, and jog uh, in between appointments or um, just take a walk. You know, 30 minutes of walking a day will do uh, tremendous things for your waistline and body fat levels. You'll look better, feel better, and have more energy. Um, eating on the go is super hard for anybody. Um, when you have a tight schedule, it's, it's easy to grab something fast and unhealthy. Um, if you can eat 
three square meals a day, um, maybe breakfast before uh, you leave for work, um, a healthy lunch and dinner when you get home, and then just sub in uh, you know, one or two of these shakes a day, which will help you get the amount of protein you need to, to build some muscle on your frame. Um, protein also um, is hard to turn into body fat, so you'll be less hungry when it comes to meal time and you won't tend to eat as much junk food. Um, so find time when you can and keep working hard. Okay, that's about all the questions we have uh, time for this week. Um, make sure you write in questions on the Muscle Nutrition Facebook page um, and uh, maybe I'll answer yours next week. We'll be doing this every week and uh, everybody can learn from everyone else's questions. So I'll, uh, I'll talk to you next time.